Hey, Corbin. Yeah. How do you circumcise a hillbilly? I do it every day. Yep. You know how? No. Kick his sister in the jaw. <laughs> hey, we'll go back to our stupid reactions. It's Corbin. <laughs> right. Can you follow us on Instagram, Twitter, more juicy content? Thank you so Patreon. Follow us on Twitter, Twitter account, subscribe to the like button. If you're unaware, in the hillbilly community, quote unquote, incest is common. Hence the funniness of the joke. Uh, and uh, today we're doing a movie review. <laughs> Of the new film that was just released just on released. on Z5 Global or whatever they call themselves, uh, they call it Z5 in your face. Uh, Hadi, yeah, starring our Dosti of Dosts, two Dosti of Dosts, Dosti of Dosts, uh, Nawaz Adin Siddiqui and Anya Kashyap, uh, and directed by um, Akshat Ajay Sharma, which we've seen a few of his things. I think he was a. We have yes, um, he was actually the other director. On Sacred Games. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and I think there's. But isn't this isn't this the first feature film? No, he's directed. Um, it's he's done a lot of shorts, but it's not the first. But it's one. It's not. It's not like he's done. Uh, uh, I thought this a, was a, a a debut directorial helm. I, I don't believe all alone. so because let's see, Hadi, uh, short, 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 short. Uh, second unit director. Obviously, he's worked with Anya a lot. Director, assistant director, uh, assistant director, director. Sing one. Two, three. I don't know what that is. Neither do I. But he is the director of that one. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty early. It, obviously, if it's not number one, it's number two according uh, according to the IMDb credits that, by himself. Right. But he was the other. Uh, it was a. Well, it says he was a second unit director. Yeah, you because know, that was dual directed by Anurag and. Yeah, but that makes him a second AD. Yeah. Uh, regardless, um, it, he's the director. Obviously, Akshay uh, Ajay Sharma. Uh, and where sorry, sorry, sorry. and he was and one of the director, uh, one of the writers as well, along with uh, Ad, Ad Adamya Bala. Adamya Bala, uh, composed by Rohan Rohan Rohan. Is that Rohan his, Rohan? Is that a typo or is that his name? Right. Uh, and then uh, starring a, 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 quite a few other people, some that I actually and recognized. some folks who recognize. Yeah. Um, but your your main two stars are going to be Nawaz and Siddiqui and Anurag Kashyap, who just hates acting so I much. I know, just, just does it. Uh, <laughs> Um, but I mean, but it just that came, role, yeah, working with Nawaz, yeah, hard to say no to that. But it just came out, so we're gonna do uh, non spoilers, yeah, uh, right off the bat. And if we want to get into some spoils, we will tell you before we get to the spoils, uh, so you can go check it out. It's obviously already on. Unlike other reviews and critics who think they're storytellers. We let the movies tell the story. It's Thank you very much. It's so annoying in reviews when I see people like, okay, so this is what happened. Like, start off their review. Every review I ever read so it, gives you a synopsis of the film beforehand. Thanks. So it starts off. Idiots. <laughs> like, what? That's not your job, man. Just tell me what you thought of the movie. Uh, it, it never ceases to boggle the mind. Regardless if you liked it or didn't like it, just don't do that. Yeah. Uh, regardless. Regardless. Uh, but yeah, it's going to start off non-spoiler. Um, so if you'd like to go watch it, you can go watch it on Z5 Global or uh, whatever their name is. Rick, your initial thoughts of Hadi. Initial thoughts. A um, couple of very tiny things in it that I had a question mark about that I can't talk about till we get into the spoilers. And I mean, they're really tiny. Um, I enjoyed this film immensely. Mm. Um, it taught me some things. It talks about some things that really need to be talked about. Um, it's, a, it's really well done. You need to pay very close attention because there's so much going on with so many people that you could, I think you could lose sight of it if you're not paying attention. I don't know how you wouldn't want to pay attention because I think you stay gripped into the story most especially because once again, Nawaz Adin Siddiqui proves that he's a, a just, a beautiful actor. And I, when we start talking more about him, I'm, uh, there's some things I want to say about Nawaz that I think is one of the more underappreciated things about his greatness as an actor and he's one of those actors that when i say someone's a beautiful actor it means they're the kind of actor that deserves the accolades that are the highest accolades for being brave um i i found his portrayal to be 
extraordinarily brave, not just because of who the character is, but because of who Nawazuddin had to be to portray this believably. So yeah. for me, the takeaway is you're going to watch a, a just a thespianatic powerhouse in his performance, and you're going to enjoy what I think is a really well-made movie. Uh, yeah, I I liked it. I didn't love it, which I wanted to love it. Yeah. Uh, and I think a lot of it has to do with some of the... Um, what I would describe as all over the place stylistic choices throughout mm -hmm. the film mm -hmm. that sometimes felt either flat at times, not in the performances, and uh, we will get into the Nawaz and Anya Rakashiap's performance uh, in this, which I believe were my favorite standouts of this movie. Um, and there were the other stuff that I really enjoyed as well. Um, it's just in terms of there were... And I can't get into all of it right now because I've obviously spoils, but there's some stylistic choice that kind of took me out of it at certain times. And mm -hmm. I was like, I didn't I didn't love certain things um, that they decided to do with it. Uh, stylistically? Stylistically. Okay. In, in terms of some music, some editing choices, some like... Um, um, not continuity, but like continuity in the style of the filmmaking or the style of the editing. Interesting. Um, and you know what? I think this is probably going to be a common f theme factor yeah. for a lot of people. I absolutely understand why you're saying that. Mm -hmm. Because there were other things in this thing that were new to me. Yeah. I was in the right frame of mind. There'd be days I would have had the exact same thought, mm -hmm. but for whatever reason, I was in the frame of mind to go, okay, this is as different as the subject matter. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to let this be whatever it'll it be wants to be. It'll be interesting to talk about, not, and it's not the, one of the real issues I had, but it'll be interesting to talk about the ending. Um, yeah, that, uh, I had a one problem um, with the ending. Because it's it's a, it's interesting what they did with it, um, yeah. And I'd like to talk about it, but let's uh, start with uh, our. Dose. This is well, this is the conversation our piece first for dose, me. Uh, Nawazuddin Siddiqui. Um, what you expect Nawaz to give you, he's going to give you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, he is one of the greatest actors in the world uh, for a reason. Yep. Uh, and I think he could, um, like, he could take even a bad script and probably make it really. <laughs> He just really might. Good. He just uh, <laughs> might. Well, he, yeah, like he's he's like the Tom Hardys of the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, he's just that talented. He's so genuine. He's so authentic in every single one of his portrayals. You always feel for him. There was a, there was um, one of the. I, I'll talk about that later. Um, in the spoils? No. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, just a little a little bit later in the review. Um, but yeah, his his performance in it, his chemistry with other actors in it, um, his whole arc as a character uh, was just wonderful. And he just he surrenders himself every single. I've never seen him not a great word. surrender himself surrender. to yeah. whatever role he's doing. Yeah, bravely. Um, whether it's the short in Lust or um, in Bombay Talkies, or this, or um, even the cop drama that we saw with Radhika a few years ago that was a new Netflix film, remember? Yeah. Obviously gangs and, and everything else we've seen, but he just... It's the reason I love him so much is because he's so good. <laughs> yeah, the thing I want to talk most about the performance is the thing that I've learned over watching the work he's done in different things is everybody appreciates him for it as they should. I think the majority of people who know who he is and appreciate him enter into that appreciation with the fact that he can play such a great psychopath mm -hmm. and he can really be believable as someone who's criminal, mm -hmm. right? Magnificent at that. The thing up for me, the heart of who Nawazuddin Siddiqui is as an actor is found in his sensitivity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The roles like you mentioned, the lust story short. Brilliant one. His portrayal no, in uh, lunch. Bombay Talkies. Yeah, Bombay Talkies. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His 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 portrayal in in Lunchbox. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I put this in the same category of it because just as this is not a spoiler, the, the Salman trailer. Khan film, but, yeah, so. the tra the trailer reveals the Salman Khan, as the reporter. Mm -hmm. the, the the trailer reveals um, the brutality and the violence of the character as a gangster, right? Mm -hmm. So that's not a spoiler, but it's also one of my favorite parts early on and it's why he and Cooper were so magnificent was oh, yeah. there's a fragility and a sensitivity to his character in, in sacred games with Cooper's character. Yeah. And in this, 
there's there's so much to talk about and if you've not seen it when you do see it i don't know how you can't help but notice it but i want you to recognize particularly things of this character's physicality that are clearly being driven by nawaz's choice to immerse himself into being not indicate this is an easy role for an inexperienced actor to make you believe they are the character by showing you something and that's where the majority of actors who aren't trained and don't know what they're doing would fail they would show you the character mm -hmm. every movement every nuance his walk a, a particular thing he does is is clearly because of an immersion he did in his prep work and on the day mm -hmm. of being a character at a level of empathy, not just trying to present you something that he hopes you'll like. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the greatest attribute of any strong actor is that quality. And and that that's why you need a Nawazid and Siddiqui to, mm -hmm. to play this character. Yeah. I agree. He's just phenomenal. He's a, I, I, just a beautiful actor. Wonderful that we still have so much of his work to get to that we have yet to get to. And obviously he's going to continue to a lifetime act. of a, of a lifetime of acting. Cause, yeah, um, I think. He could eat much else in India. I wish the world would know. I do him, too. Obviously, I do too. Because he's such a talented actor. Yeah. The other actor I want to talk about is uh, Anurag Kashyap. The dude's a talented actor, man. I it's actually uh, upsetting that he doesn't like to act. It's what he says, right? <laughs> yeah. That I mean that that is it, it is what he says publicly, and he said it to us in private. I don't like to act. He says I just really don't like to act. But, but you just so he should. <laughs> So because good at he's it. Actually, uh, he played, um, and I, I think it's in the trailer. He plays uh, the, the villain, I guess, uh, per se, per se, per se, in this, uh, without giving anything yeah. else away. Um, and he does, man, he does a good job. Maybe it just comes from his, but not all great directors are good actors. No, obviously. no, I don't think Mar Marty is going to be a, a, a really great actor. I would. No, but it it it's not a coincidence that that directors who can act. Are very good directors. Yes, because they know. Because um, they 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 know, and they can get. They can speak a language. It was something that Valerie said to us. You guys wouldn't necessarily know who Valerie is, but she's she a, directed my uh, yeah the header the header monologue. monologue. Um, Valerie's a writer director, and she's also an actor. And because of it, she was talking the other day about a, a particular note she heard someone give as a director, and she gave her version of what the note would be. All you need to know is. That slight differentiation of what this was, this is what it was. You need to know the difference. The person trying to get something out of their actor was saying, I need you to be uh, more angry. That's not a good note to give an actor. Oh, thanks. She said what she would have told the person in the scene. Mm. She would have walked over to them and just said, Shame her. Mm -hmm. Much better. There's a, and that's, between, there's a difference between anger and shame. And there's a difference between show me anger versus by saying shame her, you gave the actor an intention behind what you're doing, not just show me an emotion. Yeah. Showing an emotion is bullshit. Yeah. That's that's not acting. Yeah. That's that's farce. Yeah. It's it's actually having a motivation as to what you're doing and why you're doing it in the moment, in the now. And that's that's why he's both a good actor yeah. and a director is because think he thinks that way. Uh, he's absolutely fantastic because I thought he did a very good job. I this did role. too. He I did. have a favorite moment. I'll talk about uh, it and maybe yours in, yeah. in the spoilers. But uh, I also I, I can see that bad guys don't get rewarded. Yeah. And it's a big deal for Danny Trejo. Also, I apologize. I think I, I, I just spoiled something. You did. I'm sorry. You did. <laughs> I, uh, that's my mistake. I apologize. Uh, I, I was going to say something, but it was, the cat was already out of the bag. My, my apology. That's my yeah. that's my mistake. Uh, but yeah, he, he does such a good job uh, in this. I thought he's, he, it was very good with him and Nawaz uh, opposite each other. And also the, the entire sporting cast, I thought, did a very good job. I thought they did too. And um, I would really like to know, this is not a spoiler in any way, shape, or form because it's in the log line and it's in the the trailer. Uh I, I don't know. I mean, some of the actors, obviously, I can I know from seeing them in prior things. I think I know the answer, but I would love to know if there were any transgender or non-binary or as they're called to hydras that were part yeah. of the casting. I'm not just sure. be interested to know. And this will probably be mentioned. I don't know if people will say it in the comments, but there'll be people somewhere in the world who mention it. And I just want to say in advance of it. <sighs> What matters here is if is if the transgender community likes the representation. 
Nawazuddin Siddiqui is not a transgender man. Mm -hmm. That doesn't disqualify him for... There are some things that, like, for example, I'm, I feel I'm disqualified. I've said this from playing George Washington. Mm. I'm not six foot four. I would really need to be six foot seven to he be was comparable. The guy on Broadway. Yeah, well, that was not the real George Washington. That was <laughs> emblematic societally. <laughs> uh, it was a modernized telling of an actual historical event. So if, if I was seeing an actual historical biopic of George Washington and someone wanted me, I personally could never do that because it's so far afield from who I am. Mm. But as long as it falls within a believability factor, because that's what it all boils down to, is that would I be believable as George Washington? I would not. But there are other people I could become that are not necessarily identical to me, and that is the nature of what acting is about. It's about being believable characters, especially those. That's one of the most beautiful things about acting is being able to step into the shoes of someone who's very different from yourself, learning who they are, and portraying them in a way that is believable to the, the people. So I'd, I'd really like to know um, if they were incorporated in any way in the telling, but more importantly, uh, how, how they feel they were portrayed in the film. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. I, th I thought it was done extremely well. Yeah, I did too. Uh, so yeah, you guys can let us know if you know that. Uh, I thought uh, a lot of the um, score was nice. I don't know if I loved all of it in terms of if I thought all of it fit within this film that they made, which is one of the issues um, I had, not just with the, the, the score. Like they would stylistically go total, totally different in one scene than the entire rest of the movie was. And I was, yeah. like, that, I was like, that just seems like you wanted to do something cool. And I don't know if it fit for me. Uh, for me, you know what I saw that as? And I don't know, this is just a guess. We would have to talk to the composer and the director. Hmm. Because so much of the film itself is incorporating things that the rest of the world views as different. Hmm. A couple of things that we'll get to in the spoiler. I, I thought that choice was intentional. Hmm. To Maybe. keep you in a state of recognizing how different everything yeah. is. And at and getting acclimated to the difference. And before we get into spoils, in the beginning, you might, um, like, almost the first half, you might, uh, I was like, I was like, this is this is nice, but I'm not, it, I, don't, I don't really, I don't really care about anyone. I For me, I cared about his character. Uh, I didn't until halfway. Really? But yeah, I cared a, about And him. then I figured out, the reason they were doing what they were doing for me, which I can't give away yet. Yeah, for me, at the halfway point, it wasn't so much about the caring for him as the main character as much as it was where are we going? Yeah, because it had taken a trajectory I thought was the prime story, and then it went somewhere else yeah. that I liked. Yeah, but I thought you don't have three hours, guys. How are yeah. you going to bring these things together? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, there's there's that and. Um, and then there's just a, a couple of other different things, but we'll get into everything else in the spoils. Overall, I think it's a, an enjoyable film uh, that you, you should probably go watch. It's just on, on, on Z. Well, and one last thought before spoils, and we can get into this more in spoilers as well. But there's a reason you're going to be watching this on OTT. Mm. Sadly. Mm. This film could never be released theatrically. I just, the censor board either would make it unwatchable because of the cuts they would make to it, or I mean, there's a that's the reason it's going on the platform, sadly. Mm. So because it can't get the box office, d do yourself a favor and enjoy the blessing you have of being able to watch things that are presented to you in the way the artists wanted yeah. them presented. Also, before we uh, get to spoils, um, you will notice that this film didn't probably have the budget it probably wanted. Sure. CGI. Some, Forgivable. Some stunt um, stuff. Yeah. Um, where you need money to convey it correctly, and and you really like anytime there's CGI, you're gonna notice there's CGI. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it doesn't happen a ton. No, um, but you will notice it every single time there's any kind of CGI anything. Yeah, <laughs> it's not the best CGI you have ever seen. Yeah. In fact, in, in one scene, it's really bad. Really bad. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, actually, for that scene, I just, I, was, I I don't even think they needed. That. I agree. I was like, I think Me you could too. have done this without that Me CGI too. element of Just it. Just shoot it a little closer, yeah. and we don't need to have it. Well, whatever. That yeah. was their, that was their choice. But yeah, uh, go watch it if you uh, and if you have seen it now. Obviously, it yeah, is this new. is spoil time. We're gonna get into the spoils um, uh, now. So um, yeah, the CGI scene that we were talking about. Um, spoils, spoils, spoils. This is spoils. Um, is that? It's actually I thought a a, a really great scene. Um, 
with uh, Anurag and, mm -hmm. and what he was doing yeah. in that scene. And then there was just awful fire CGI yeah. all around him. I'm like, this is just this is there, more distracting. It than also anything. was a little distracting in that pivotal moment mm -hmm. of the Ama, yeah. Ama. I yep. was I was like this would have been guys. We don't want to distract from Nawaz's moment here. You would have been much better off with no music, no CGI behind him, and just letting him keep it, keep do it, it like a round shot underneath him, and get some trickles of real flame. Get his emotion. And just keep it. We didn't need a faraway shot. That POV it was bad. Distanced you from his pain. Yeah, it was bad. I agree. Uh, and then there was a couple other CGI moments um, <laughs> as well. Um, but like. I thought in this film, the first half, even though I was like, okay, this is nice, but I'm not like, I'm not connected mm. to anybody. Because they were doing it, as you know, since you've seen it, nonlinear. Right. They were doing, and I was wondering, I was like, what is the purpose of the nonlinear? It's happened before. Yeah, because it wasn't like Christopher Nolan nonlinear. No, because it, it's happened before in many films where people. It's cool to do nonlinear sometimes. Again, right? I think it goes to, we're this is different. Yeah. yeah, and so like I'm, I think some people use it as a shtick. Until, they do until I found out, obviously, and I liked the kind of reveal of midway. You they showed because I was like, why didn't you put this at the beginning? I would have been much more caring of him if I would have known like this was his process. And then, right, but then obviously you figured out. Obviously, right, they killed all the people he loved. Right, uh, and that's why they put it in the middle because they wanted that kind of reveal. Right, um, but that I th I think that's one of the reasons it kind of almost fell flat in the beginning for me is because I was like. Even though I, I I liked the reveal in the middle and it, it helped me throughout the, the rest of the film, mm -hmm. get through the rest of the film. Mm -hmm. But um, sometimes I I don't like nonlinear storytelling sometimes yeah. because... Especially if it's a shtick, which I didn't yeah, think this was. I, I never like it if it's a shtick. No. Because like, sometimes I was like, it adds nothing right. to be nonlinear. Again, it always goes back to why. Not this one. <laughs> Not this, this one. didn't do that. This one thankfully no. had a, a reason why it li wanted to do it that you figured out halfway through. Um, but sometimes it's just like, uh, there's literally, it, no, you're it, just making it more complicated. It added to what I said earlier about you have to really pay attention. Yeah. Otherwise, you could get lost quick. Um, that was uh, super interesting. And then, like, uh, before we get to the ending, what else do you want to talk about? In this uh, well, I the the couple of things. There were some things I didn't I had I didn't know about. Now, obviously, I know about transgenderism, about non-binary people, and about the fact that it's all over the world. Yeah, uh, there's still a lot to learn about the way they're treated and the way they're accepted and the way we that know they about live. This community, though, in India, they, it's in a lot of films. It is, but what we've not seen, to my knowledge was the full ceremony he went through, which is a legitimate the ceremony that I looked thing. up. Yeah, yeah, which was actually, it's 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 a ritual called a nirvan. Did they not do that in the Bengali film? The if, if they did, I don't remember it taking as long or being as specific. Yeah, and it really wasn't necessarily, that was more about eunuchs and prostitutes. I didn't sense that that was as definitively the hydras, hydras. which okay. are a recognized third gender. Yeah. So... Which for, I, I've had these conversations and it's just mind numbing um, in a couple of things on Instagram Reels. There's an Instagram Reel I'm having this thread of conversation on and it's not a surprise that you can't have a conversation with people who think sex and gender are the same. Mm. Because even though the American Psychiatric Society and the predominance of all scientific community today makes a definitive differentiation between assigned sex at birth, which has to do with biology, versus gender, which is about societal norms and things of behavior and identification of things that transcend your assigned sex. Yeah. And every time I get into any kind of a discussion, if I point out there is a difference between sex and gender, the response that I typically get from the other side is, fuck yourself. Yeah. It, the conversation just ends. It's because it makes them uncomfortable. Of course. Which uh, I don't understand. Yeah. But um, I was really intrigued by the representation of this community, of the representation of that ritual and that ceremony. And it really is something that needs to be talked about and understood and not demonized of the differentiation between assigned sex and and what it means to be, uh, you know, gender fluid or have an... Uh, and it, I, it made me so sad in the same way that I had sadness in the 1980s and 90s when there was so much bigotry toward the homosexual community, which mm. is still there. I mean, it's just heartbreaking. And I, I thought Nawaz was beautiful in, in his depiction of this mm. to think of what it must be like to be somebody who's born with an assigned sex, yet everything else about you mm -hmm. feels the other gender. Yeah. Yeah, I can't I, I imagine that. So that that for me was what. Now the thing that bothered me 
um, was... Are you getting to the end? Yeah, the okay. end. Yeah. What, what, what bothered you about the end? Oh, also, did you know there was a bone industry? I've heard black market stuff like that. I knew I there was know. a black market organ industry. I had no clue. Yeah, it's pretty intense. It's a billion dollar industry. Yeah. The human bone industry. And in some states in the United States, it's legal Jeez. to sell human bones. Ooh. Um, no, so the ending was interesting because at first, uh, when he, when Anurag, once again, spoilers, you're well in it now, shot him in the back like six times, seven, right. whatever, whatever, whatever. Well, shot him in the leg, shot him in the yeah, arm, yeah. and then shot him in the back how many times? Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, you know, he was, which, you know, you could survive. I mean, I think 50 Cent was shot like 15 times in the back, I think. <laughs> and, you know, he's alive and well. So that's not, that's not what it was. It was the fact that he was like still kind of like moving and, it was the, and, and getting up and being able to do. No, everything. it was the thing that bothered me the most about that, which I I thought CGI aside, I loved the 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 beautiful sadness for uh, With the of, bones. Yeah, yeah, of him holding the bones of the even though guy every loved. single time there was bones, it was clearly they were like this yeah. plastic bone. Yeah, yeah it was, but but I, I in the just story wise yeah, for yeah, him yeah. to be brought to the place where he's lost everything and now the only person left that he loved and loved him the the, the horror having yeah. nothing but their bones in your hands yeah. oh but it wasn't so much that he got shot and survived that bothered me why did Anurag let him live why 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 didn't he just put a bullet in the back of his head uh, maybe he thought he he was going to die that's not a, for I me that know. was incongruent with the character yeah, i don't know incongruent with um, the character as to why he let him and then not be absolutely certain that his brains are all over the floor i'm wondering and the reason i was and you guys can tell me if you've obviously seen this. I think this was almost a because they kept alluding to his, his immortality and that 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 story of right. I forget. So I'm assuming he was playing that god kind of like. We, I'm in, sure we missed that in a kind of like in RRR. They were playing Beam and and Lord Ram. There's so, symbolism with avatars yeah. and stuff that so we I'm won't assuming get. He was basically playing a god in this or whatever the 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 right the whatever that, that she story she told yeah um that i'm not familiar with and so I, that's why and that's obviously why it went to like a superstar rajnikanth uh, fight scene there at the end it I did like, i was like oh we've gone to south <laughs> india <laughs> um <laughs> so and that's why i was like i'm assuming this is why the the end is kind of going this way um is because he is playing and, and it kind of almost went almost outside of reality. Uh, yeah, I'm, and I'm sure there's there's probably a lot of symbolism we we completely missed yeah. from the the who Anurag represented and the way that he kills him. Yeah, weapons used. Uh, uh, there, yeah. Uh, there's a ton I'm sure we missed because uh, we're just that, not Indian. And it and it definitely that in fight scene definitely changed the tone stylistically. <laughs> Once again, it did it went South Indian? I was like, okay. This is <laughs> different from what we have been going through, um, and it's not bad, not in a bad way. It's just I was like, I was I wasn't expecting this ending for sure, and the way it was being shot, um, and it for me it lacked the punch because him still being alive wasn't justified for me. Therefore, the final climactic fight, I was thinking as I was watching it, I would have loved to have seen this if I. I think it's because he's immortal and he's, he's playing that that god. True. Person. Then we need to change the moment of Anurag having him underfoot. Underfoot, yeah. Like shooting, yeah. Shooting Something else needed to be done to make that more believable. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I don't disagree uh, with that. I mean, if there's stuff we missed, obviously, in, in oh, that we, whole sequence. We missed it. Um, <laughs> please tell us. Yeah. I actually thought, like, um, I forget all their names. But like his love interest, Nawaz's love interest, their chemistry was very good. I liked very that, good. that actor. Especially all the close up intimate moments ahead with each other. I was looking in Nawaz's eyes and I believed every feeling he was I believed he loved him. And yeah. the other thing about Nawaz's performance, I read something about what he did to undertake the transformation and he spent a lot of time with the transgender community. No surprise. And he said that he basically presented this in his mind, that he was in his mind he said I was portraying a woman. Mm -hmm. The totality of what he was doing was my character's a woman because that's what the that's what Hadi identified as gender. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then um, the other guy that was directly below that was Anurag that Nawaz killed. Mm -hmm. 
um, in the bathroom or wherever they were. I thought he did a good job. I we've, did too. We've seen him, before, we've seen him do many things. Yeah. And um, also this guy we've seen a lot too. Vipin. Yeah. We've seen him a ton. Ton. Um, and he's obviously always good. And then I thought, all yeah, the great casting, supporting, really uh, good casting good. for everybody. Um, I was, I was hoping to love it. I think I just, I ended up liking it just for, for different reasons. Uh, um, most of the, some of the film fell flat for me in certain aspects. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it approaching love. It was like right at the, right there for yeah. me. And, but I loved Nawaz. Yeah. Oh yeah. Loved Nawaz. Nawaz and Anya. I actually yeah, really, I, 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 love, I, I on, wish I Anya, Anya, Anya would well. act more. I agree. Uh, Cause I think he's a very talented actor. Um, <laughs> and so, uh, it was a lot of fun to, to watch them on screen. Uh, anything else? No. Okay. Good to go. Uh, well, let us know what you thought about the film. Obviously, if you've watched it already, um, what did you like? What didn't you like? And what should be our next Nawazuddin Siddiqui film that we should watch? Down below.